All right, good morning. Well, this is about 5 30 in the morning, Monday. And this is do, your, do it yourself. Uh, GFI receptacle. These are no ordinary uh, outlet, they have a special input and output. I already took out most of the screws. Wait, I need to wear a glove just in case, but I already turned off the circuit breaker out there. So, uh, it's safe. See, there's that uh, green light at the bottom, an indicator that this is on. After a while, this uh, GFI, they lost their uh, contact, so they trip without even getting wet. And they're not only safety feature, but they are required. They are building codes. That's why here in the States you have to be a certified electrician. You messed up with electrical. See this all this receptacle here? Look at that. So much. You don't just remove these wires without your new one. And then you compare from the back how they are connected. See this one? These are bathroom uh, GFI. Uh, ground fault control indicator. What happens when something get wet on your receptacle? This will uh, trip. But this is a lot more sensitive than that circuit breaker out there because this is mostly for water. They also have this different uh, GFI on the outside outlet. Okay, see this one here? I'll show you what it shows. So you have to have your new one with you. Oh, oh, load charge right there. It says load charge in there. The black is just a return. The white one is the one that uh, bring in the source. So by looking at it, this is an easy one. Because the way they made it, it's an insertion instead of looping around. That's what's nice around here. So what am I gonna do? I need to have a small thing that would pop this so easy just uh, press this one then you pull it out wait it's not it's not the right tool I need to have more of a smaller all right I got the right tool now this is more matilos or sharper I mean pointed so I can press this thing here and then it will release the what's wrong oh it's got to turn it wow this is new well I need to find the allen wrench it's a squared allen wrench it's a moment let's stop again All right, I already got it out. It's the screw thing, it's not a push. It makes sense that way whole time. These are basically the same thing. So it says right here, the load, that is the charge. This is the line because this goes to the other bathroom too. Uh, GFI you have at least four in the house one for upstairs bathroom one on the outside one in the kitchen and one here in the bottom bathroom so per looking at it these are the charge thing right here so i'm just gonna insert them back with a new one hopefully oh no i'm putting the old one how stupid that is I'm glad that so these are the load or the charge this is where you're coming from your circuit breaker outside this wires right here okay there you go that's basically it you have about four or five wires here make sure they are all the way in and tight okay that's all how easy that is but a lot of people messed up they well same thing with me first time I work on this I didn't pay attention I just keep on 
white white and black black but they're not ordinary outlet they have this special case because actually this is a sensor well it senses water that's why it says indicate or indicate that you can never push this back unless you remove that uh what do you call that appliance though or something that got wet curry so now the the charge where the line from the circuit breaker are in right there you gotta be tight 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 why is it that light me there you go tight tight all right now we can do the bottom one which are the output of this outlet to the other source i mean uh, coming in so now i'll put the return this is the black one is a return because this is an alternating current not like a positive negative on your battery i don't know the reason being about what we see is mostly there are 220 the states is 110 i don't know about the safety of it there you go there you go boom this is all there's to it right here but three more wires let me turn it up first pose all right now i'm done with the uh white and the black wire so i'm just putting the ground now here in the stage they have this proper polarized outlet the kind of wide one that's your uh, white one which is your source or your your uh, supply then the black one is just a return it's just returning like that so this gfi have this test and everything so once i have i inserted this ground this is also very important here everything is grounded here or else you're not allowed where the hell there you go everything they make it so easy but just you just need to know what your shit i mean talking about being a to be honest this is nothing it's only they call this uh one wire electricity and that's basically it's done so i can test it right now if it's work i'll be right back just a moment there you go she got that uh, light on now so it's working what happened the one in our master bedroom bathroom every time we plugged it uh, all those electrical stuff in there like hair dryer this thing is already tripped Trip means it's a uh, pop, okay? So what that means the contact on this GFI already bad because after a while, you might not see it. There's a little bit of sparking and arcing inside there when you see them. So the contact on this one's already bad. And depending on what you like, these are also in price range. Of course, I would buy the expensive one. This is $29 because I know it's a lot better the more you, I don't know why they have to make a cheap one and expensive one why don't they uh, standardize it also maybe it's the load and that's over there to it right there you have that also you, you can test it by the way the where's that test there you go all right it trip right now you gotta push it back look at that that's light on then I'll test the other one back there I'll just tell you if it works. All right, it works like a champ, okay? But the thing about this is in reverse. Once you have that amber light in there, amber, amber, whatever it is, it pop. So you got no indicator like a green for good. Uh, you have is uh, nothing right there. It works good. Uh, my dryer out there already works great. But before i in kind of first this back there i need to pop that circuit breaker again to make sure it's safe and then i'll turn it back on when everything get together okay all 
right the moment to chew it. The light is amber right there, so it's not gonna work. But like I said, once in a while you have to test this and this is it right here. So did you see that fat plug-in right there, that metal thing? It goes on that uh, wider ones out there. All right, then you press this one. Right there, it turns off. There you go. Let's put on a test. There you go, it's working, okay? That's all there's to it. Bye bye for now. It's so cold out there. All right. That is kind of, don't mess up with electric. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. In fact, in here, you cannot put uh, a ceiling fan anymore. Anytime you chop that uh, kind of solid wire, if you're not an electrician or journal thing, you can't suppose not to do that. If something goes wrong, get on fire, insurance might not fail you. But I don't know what my shit is all about because Maybe sent me to two year of school. This is just basic double E electrical and electronics. Okay, so that's there's to it. Now I'm gonna replace two switches also. After a while, they arcing and sparking, and then they don't have a good contact anymore. There's a resistance because of that build up thing in there. So one in my garage and one in my kitchen. Just so nice because electrician is I don't know where how are they charged now. Like I say, you're not supposed to do this unless you know your shit. Or you can take a test at the city hall to install a ceiling fan, garbage disposer, something like this. Water heater, that's also the same thing. But I don't have to, I know nice shit. Alright, bye bye for now. Thank you for watching my videos. It'll be a lot more DIY or do it yourself. That one mung sarilim. Bye bye. Good day.